So when he, with good intention, okay, in innocence, was introduced to the concept, he used that concept to negate the reason for it, which is, uh, you know, thought he was being slick. And because he didn't, it's, it would be counterintuitive for you, just as it is counterintuitive for us to walk on water, right? We sink in water. It would be counterintuitive for him, given his experience of, you know, a painless environment of, of, uh, you know, where he was like, you know, full of knowledge or the most knowledgeable to then, you know, if that's what God has given you, then it seems reasonable to want to keep it. Um, you know, and so he felt that God was testing him to, to, uh, increase his maybe his like the gratefulness that he has for what God had given him and because the choice was I want you to take of the fruit of life and then the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil and you will experience sufferings but i'll be with you and you will you will bring me glory and you'll get nothing from it and that is a great honor you know here come old flat top he come grooving up slowly he got chew chew eyeballs he want Holy roller. Well, choo-choo eyeballs, there's two lines. They don't move. It's a train. That's a rubber sole. He, he, he can't, he didn't understand that to get it all, you've got to give it all. And Christ gave it all. When he made the two-thirds angels that were complete and fully complete, he did it by that knowledge. When he gave Lucifer the choice in that dimension where Lucifer falls, the grace of our God is not given. Just the choice and faith. The same choice and faith that Adam and Eve had when they fell and they were lesser beings. Uh, I can't remember how many times lesser, but they were created a little lower than the angels, which means they still had more power than you and me can imagine. And, and I'm not one of the smartest men on earth. I know there's a lot smarter than me, but we're fallen. But think about Adam and Eve, how intelligent they were. But they were deceived by a fallen being. Uh, because that same innocence was exploited. He, when, when, when Lucifer did not take of the fruit of life and then the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. The plan of God continued in that dimension. He wanted the rubber soul sacrifice to be like incense or a prayer to, to be a witness to the glory that is his victory over death and the fragility and strength of life at the same time. You know, um, the angels knew it. The holy angels knew it. Uh, that God's light has victory over darkness. It's pretty simple. You know, <laughs> I mean, just physically you can see that light shines in the darkness. But 
to Lucifer, who, just like any act of grace, was, was kept only just so. Didn't, you know, he wasn't as much as the other, as the other angels. And just like us humans, we're not as much as our brothers or our sisters, but we don't know it because they're way smarter than you anyway. They'll, they, you'll, you'll, you're, you're, you're not close to them. But he didn't take the faithful choice. And when he didn't, for good reason, or so he thought, that's the nature of choice and, and learning. He, he, you know, God created that environment for him to choose. And that environment continued on in the, in the, in that, in that line of, uh, of, of dimension, okay, or, or, or impossible possibility, you know, um, because of the the cementing, but to sh it was a real never was a reality, but it it because of God's grace, which is and always is, it is not. But the fact that it could have been is the fact that his life and victory over death. The truth, that truth is, is the reason that it is not. So it's a circle in a square or a square circle, you know, or, you know, it's, it's, just, it's, and it, and it's a reflection of his, his, his eternality, you know, in, in its, in its movement, because it's, it's, it's round like this, you know, it shows, it reflects time because he, he did it and he can, what is matter? What is space? What is the... You know, as I was saying before. Now, when the plan of God continued, Lucifer said, Oh, faith? Okay. I will, I will, I've got to get this back. I cannot, you know, he's moving on with, with the plan. You know, the next in-line angel is going to, to do this, do this, do this mission. He wants me to have faith. I'm going to do it. And he, in his sovereignty that God had given him, took of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil because he thought, if I take of the fruit of life, this is similar to the choice that he gave me. I already am alive. Why would I take of the fruit of life? It might be an insult to him, you know, uh, because I'm alive and, and, and I'm going to go and I'm going to prove it that God has given me life. And I'm going to take of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil and survive and not die. And I'll show how much I love him, how much he loves me, and how much power he has through me. And when the pendulum flipped, when you're, when you're, he, he lost his sight and became blind. You know, he got stuck in the reality that he, that he, that he faithfully, with good intention, created for himself uh, because he didn't because the grace of God is it catches the foolish <laughs> it catches the foolish faithful even you know and uh, but he flipped the other way poisoned the other third of the angels because he was on a mission from God he was Mr. Holy Guy and uh, and and goes on to to prove it even further by these lesser beings. This is part of the mission. Got to give them. See how they're innocent like that. They they. I will prove that I am greater because I will give these beings the same. They they will fall 